so we're going to start off by grabbing our yarn and for this tutorial i'm going to be using this medium weight yarn in the color pink on the back of this label it recommends using a five millimeter hook unfortunately i don't have a five millimeter hook and i'm going to be using this hook instead it is double ended but i'm going to be using the four millimeter end to crochet the sprout and having a hook size that is like one size smaller or one size bigger doesn't typically make too much of a difference it really just depends on the look you're going for and also how tight or loose your tension is when you're crocheting and but yeah for this case i'm just going to be using this end grabbing the tail end of the yarn and the first thing that we're going to do is a slip knot the easiest way to do a slip knot is to place your yarn like so make a loop like this and then make another loop put your finger through that hole that you just made and then grab the yarn here and then pull and now you have your slip knot you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna put it right through and then you're gonna take the tail end and pull it so that it is snug on your hook as for how you can hold your yarn and your hook i like to hold my hook like this because this is the most comfortable for me but there are plenty of other ways you can hold it and see what works for you for my other hand i like to wrap the yarn around my pinky and then wrap the yarn once again around my index finger and then I crochet like this. So the first part we're going to be making on the sprout is the stem and this is because I typically like to do the boring part first before the fun part. We're gonna start by chaining 40 and in order to make a chain you're going to pinch this little tail here and then you're going to yarn over and to do that you're going to move your hook under the yarn Make sure your hook is facing downwards and that you don't let go of your hold here and then you're going to pull through this loop on your hook and now you have your first chain and now you're going to do that 39 more times until you have 40 chains <laughs> Now that you have your 40 chains, we are going to start our next row. So we are going to hold our chain like this. As you can see here, there are a number of ridges on each chain. We're going to skip eight of these stitches. So what you're going to do is just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to slip stitch into this one, which is the next stitch. So in order to slip stitch, you're going to put your hook through that stitch right there and then it's going to look like you have two loops on your hook and then you're going to yarn over make sure the hook is facing downwards and pull through that loop you are going to pull this first loop through this one the second loop and that's how you do your slip stitch and here what we created is the little loop that you're going to have on your stem that's how you're going to basically tie your crochet sprout onto your headphones or whatever you want to tie it to. If it's a little bit confusing right now, don't worry, it'll come together in the end. All you have to do is trust the process. So now that we've created our little loop, we are going to continue slip stitching into every stitch until you reach the end. And once you have that finished, I will meet back with you guys and tell you what to do next. Now that I am close to the end of the row, I just want to check in with you guys and make sure that as you guys are crocheting, make sure that you aren't twisting the chain in any other direction. Each chain has formed a little V and you want to make sure that it stays in this direction. Make sure that you're keeping it straight and also to make sure that you're slip stitching into the right stitch, make sure that you are not going into the same stitch that you just did. And the way you can tell is that this loop right here, as you can see, is in this hole. And you don't want to go into that one, you want to go into the next one that doesn't have any loops inside. So you're going to go into that one. As long as you're making sure that you're doing those two things, you are on the right track. So now that I'm at the very end of the row, um, as you can see here, there's like a tiny little part that's peeking out here. There's also a little stitch here, so you're just going to put your hook through that little end and slip stitch as well. It can be a little tricky so sometimes you might have to use your finger to just pull apart the hole to make it easier for yourself. 
So now that you are completely done the stem and the loop of the crochet sprout, we can now go on to the fun part, which are the leaves of the sprout. So for the first leaf, you are going to chain 12. I know, more chaining, but trust the process, it's going to come together and soon you're going to have your own crochet sprout. So we are going to chain 12. You are going to skip one stitch, which will be this one, which is closest to the hook, and then you are going to slip stitch into this chain right here. And it's going to be the same process as the stem, where you slip stitch into every stitch until you reach the stem part right here. now we have a slip stitch in every single stitch as you can see this little tail here is facing this way what you want to do is turn it so that it's facing this way and then you're just gonna tuck these two parts under and now we're just gonna be working into the stitches this way take a look at the little tail that you made and you turn it to its side you can see that there is a little bridge for every stitch and within these bridges we're going to be stitching into them so for the first bridge that you see here you're going to slip stitch And then for the next stitch you have here, you're going to single crochet. To make a single crochet, you're going to put your hook through the loop, and then you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you're going to yarn over again, pull through both of the loops that are already on your hook. And now you have your single crochet. The next thing you're going to do is double crochet into the next stitch. So in order to double crochet, the first thing you're going to do is yarn over, and then you're going to put your hook into the next stitch, which is right here. It's going to look like you have three loops on your hook, and then you're going to yarn over again, pull up a loop, and once again, it's going to look like you have three loops on your hook, and you're going to yarn over, pull through two of these loops, and then yarn over again, and pull through two of those loops. And now you have your double crochet. And then you're going to do the same thing, the exact same double crochet into the next stitch. Now what we're going to do is a treble crochet. And in order to make a treble crochet, you're going to yarn over and yarn over once again. So now you're going to have this yarn wrapped over twice, including the loop on your hook. And then you're going to put your hook through the next stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and it's going to look like you have four loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over again, pull through two more loops. And now you'll have two more loops, so you're going to yarn over again and pull through both of those loops you have your treble crochet. And then you're gonna do that two more times into the next two stitches. So one treble crochet for this stitch here and another one for this stitch here. Now we're going to do two double crochets into the next two stitches and then a single crochet and then we're going to slip stitch at the very end here. Next, you are going to chain one, and then you're going to turn your leaf and then do the exact same thing on the other side. And as you turn your leaf, you can kind of see that there's like three different loops. So this is one, two, and three, but you're going to use the very back loops. So instead of going into this stitch or this stitch, you're going to go into this stitch. The reason we do this is because as you create your stitches into these very back loops here, it creates a nice little ridge here, so it kind of gives off like a realistic effect and it makes it look even more like a leaf. I'll let you guys do that and we'll meet back at the very end here and I'll tell you guys what to do next.
And now that we're at the very end of the row, we have our very first leaf. So before we start our next leaf, we're going to slip stitch into the little stem that we made here. So as we pull the little tail here, you can kind of see that there's like a little loop here and we're going to put our hook in there and then we're going to slip stitch so now that that is done we are going to repeat the exact same steps for the other leaf you're going to chain 12 skip one stitch and then slip stitch into every single stitch until the end of the row and then you're going to repeat the sequence of the slip stitch single crochet double crochet triple crochet until you complete the leaf just like you did here and i'll tell you what to do after that all right now that we've reached the end of the second leaf you are going to slip stitch into the stem in the very center here make sure you pull tight and with this loose end here make sure you also pull tight there so that there's no hole peeking through and now you're going to chain one and this is where you would cut off your yarn now you're going to take your hook and simply pull on it and then make sure that it's snug and then with these two ends what we're going to do because they're right beside each other we're just going to triple knot it and after you've double or triple knotted it you can snip these two ends right next to this little knot you made but make sure you don't snip too close because you don't want to cut off the knot that you just made and don't worry, these parts are not very noticeable, especially since this little cable part is going to be wrapped around the very center, so it's not going to be noticeable at all. Now you have your little sprout, so let me show you guys how to put it on your headphones. So what you're going to do is basically wrap it around the surface and then put each of these leaves through the little hole here. By the way, these are the little ribbons that I made in my last crochet tutorial. If you also want to learn how to make these, make sure to check out my last video. I'll make sure to link it in the description as well so that you can check it out. How you're gonna tie this is make sure that the left side of your headphones is on the right side. Make sure that the pedals are kind of curved towards you and then you're going to place it behind your headphones and you're going to wrap it around and now you're just going to put the pedals through the hole that you made. It might take a little bit because the loop is pretty small but don't worry you're not going to rip it you're not going to break it or anything it's super easy and super cute every time i go to school i always get compliments on my head sprouts and this is actually how a lot of my friends identify me like whenever i'm wearing my headphones uh, and they see these little leaves poking up they're like oh that's me like let me go say hi to her <laughs> which i find is really cute and it's really sweet if you guys try out this tutorial definitely let me know how it worked out for you definitely make Make sure to take a picture and post it on your socials and tag me at projects by me and i'm happy to repost your creations on my story that's about it for this video i will catch you guys in the next one bye